It is 2019 and I am back with my very first video for you guys and I apologize for being late and it is the weekly reset and we're going to go over what is available for this week and Iron Banner is back as well as a whole bunch of other stuff and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, as you guys can see, it is the weekly reset and there's tons and tons of stuff going on. However, most importantly, since it is 2019, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are asking or wondering who is the winner of the January 2019 giveaway. And I will actually get into that at the end of the video, as well as I will cover um, everything going on with the December 2018 winners as well. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for February 2019, <laughs> then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. Now, go ahead and start with the wonderful, wonderful challenges for the week. So, we have uh, Ikora's Challenge, which is the weekly bounties, and we need to complete 20 of them. Then we have Clan Rewards, which we need to earn 5,000 XP for your clan. Then we have uh, Recipe for Success, which we need to complete two frames, uh, weapon frames in the forges. Coming down to Titan. We have the Heroic Adventure, as well as the Flashpoint on Titan, which you need to complete Public Events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. And if you do the Heroic versions of the Public Events, you can get this done a lot faster. Coming down to the Vanguard, we need to complete three daily story missions. And as for strikes, we need to complete three strikes. Modifiers this week for the strikes are Arc Singe, Glass, Grenadier. And then for the Nightfall, we need to complete a Nightfall and complete one with a hundred thousand points. Nightfalls this week are at the Inside Terminus, Lake of Shadows, as well as Exodus Crash. For Gambit, we need to complete three Gambit matches. For Crucible, we need to complete five Crucible matches. And Iron Banner is the wonderful event for this week, and we will check out Lord Saladin in just a second. Then we have the uh, Tangled Shore, I'm sorry, Dreaming City. Petra is in the Strand, and you need to complete two of her weekly bounties. So, let's go ahead and see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. Going ahead and going to start with the Prismatic Matrix. We have the Bronco, which is a speeder, or a sparrow, however you want to say it. Looks pretty cool. Comes with Custom Drive, Destabilizers, and Random Mod. Then we have the Ikelos Field Tuning, which is the ornament for the Polaris Lance. That actually looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Then we have a Titan class armor, a Hunter uh, chess piece, and a Warlock helmet. Then on the other side, we have the Blind Faith, which is the ornament for the trust. Looks pretty cool. Then we have a vehicle. Ghost Shell, then we have a uh, Parthi <laughs> Parthenon um, projection, I hope I said that right, as well as the Cringe Emote. So coming down to the Bright Engrams and Packages. We have your etched engrams, uh, single, three, and five. Then we have your forges ignition bundle. This comes with an etched engram, 250 bright dust, as well as a fire team medallion when you get three of those. And then we have your visions of iron bundle, which costs 1100 silver. This gives you uh, battle axe projection, iron banner projection, young wolf projection, a fire team medallion, and then two gleaming boon of the van. I'm sorry, of the crucible. Coming down here, we have the Floating Dance, which is an emote.
Then we have the Awkward Greeting. Sparrow. Another Sparrow. An exotic shit. A regular shit. Ghost. Projection. Oh, clashing projection. Then we have the Victorian Silver Hawk, which is the ornament for the um, Celestial Nighthawk. Coming down here, we have the Never Through, which is the ornament for the Bygones. Then we have your Pride of Oman, which is an ornament for the Cold Heart. Traveler's Wake effects. Purple Class Sigil effects. Then we have your Lilac um, Bombast. As well as your Dawn and Dusk. Then we have Gleaming Boom of the Vanguard, Gleaming Boom of the Crucible, as well as Fire Team Medallion. So let's go ahead and check out what Lord Saladin has for us on this Iron Banner. So we have all of your wonderful bounties. Then we have your armor. And last but not least, we have the Hero's Burden Submachine Gun. This comes with uh, SLO 12 post, SPO 26 front, appended mag, flared magwell, moving target, as well as kill clip. And it also has a stability masterwork. And then we have the bite of the fox, and this is a sniper rifle. This comes with polygon rifling, small bore, extended mag, flared magwell, uh, snapshot sights, as well as opening shot. And then it also has a reload speed for the masterwork. Okay, so real quick, as for the giveaways, I did want to apologize to everybody for the December as well as the January 2019 giveaway because I have been AFK for a very long time and I greatly apologize. There's been a lot of stuff going on IRL, but everything is okay. So with that said, for Everybody who won the December 2018 giveaway, go ahead and check your emails. I had emailed all four of you, so please go ahead and check that. As for the winner of the January 2019 giveaway, that winner is Wrigley One. Yes, his name was Wrigley One, and he is from the UK. So, I will go ahead and contact you in just a moment and give you your uh, code for your annual pass so i hope you guys enjoy and that my friends brings us to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video feel free to watch these videos as well you never know you just might like them and if you do leave a like share them and then come back for more because you know you want to thank you guys for watching and remember less guns doesn't mean less crime and i will see you guys next time